Hello, Black Murfreesboro. This is Mylika, and I'm one of your admins here on the Facebook group. And I am here and very excited to talk to you about our very first meetup this Saturday at Seafood Sensation Murfreesboro. So if you're new to the group, head over to the event tab and check out the event we have there. Go ahead and say that you're going or leave a comment if you need more information. It's going to be from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. And we'll be there just in a casual environment, having a good time and getting to know other black people in Murfreesboro, which I think is what we all are looking to do in this group, learn more about what's going on right here in Murfreesboro. But I want to go ahead and talk to you about my experience. I went to Seafood Sensation uh, myself and Jermel, our other, another one of our admins on Monday, and we had the opportunity to meet an amazing team of people. So I first want to talk to you about the owner. And if you're looking at my uh, screen here, you'll see a picture of two smiling faces. One of those people uh, are, is Miss Abby. And Miss Abby is the owner of Seafood Sensation. And she started uh, Seafood Sensation with others and then really wanted to have a lot more independence. And so she bought them out and she is now the sole owner of Seafood Sensations Murfreesboro. So kudos to you, Miss Abby. I'm so proud of you for doing that and uh, just taking a step out and, and pursuing your dream. Now, this isn't a new uh, gig for, for Miss Abby. She is a silent partner of another restaurant in Nashville called Rhythm and Spice. So I've got to get over there and check that out when I'm in Nashville. But um, this hasn't been super easy for Miss Abby either. She definitely um, had a, some roadblocks, let's say, in the beginning, getting going to the point where she just didn't have the right team. So she literally was courageous enough to shut down for about a month until she could revamp and get things like she wanted it. So what she told me was that she had to put her own touches on the building. So she repainted, she revamped her team, got all new people, um, and, you know, just put the touches on, on, on this place to make it her own. And like she described to me, and I'm sure like we can all relate to when we go out, we know what we're looking for. We know the service that we expect and it, it wasn't there before. And she wanted to make sure that she got there as quickly as possible. Now, I don't know if I would have been as, um, as courageous to say, Hey, I'll lose money for a whole month while I get it right. But kudos to you, Abby, for going out and doing that. And I can tell you from my experience, it's definitely paying off. So we walk into the establishment. It is really uh, open and airy and it's got a good feel. So it's, you know, it's fresh. It smells great. <laughs> That's important. Um, but it is inviting. And uh, we were greeted with a smile. Um, Kai is the manager. He approached us. He didn't know who we were. And he, you know, he said, hey, welcome. Go ahead and sit anywhere you like. So I, I felt welcome when I walked in. And as you can see from the pictures, uh, there was a lot of places at that time to sit. We were there on a very cold day. It was Monday, right after the MLK March. So we just headed over. Um, but there was, you know, a nice atmosphere. There were televisions to catch what was going on. There's a bar. There were um, folks sitting there enjoying the uh, beverages and just taking up that space there. And so we were greeted. We sat down. We were brought a menu. And, you know, we were able to order and we basically were taken care of. We were offered beverages and I chose to just have water, but water was brought to me in a nice clean glass, <laughs> which is important. Um, and so we were able to uh, partake of the food. And I have to say the food is delicious. Um, I think we've got the buttery lemon pepper flavor on um, a basket that had crab and sausage and um, potatoes. So it, it was really good. I really impressed. And my, um, Jamel is from, uh, Georgia. So he likes that swamp food. <laughs> we call it that water food. Uh, so he, he's, he's no stranger to those types of, uh, shellfish and things of that nature. And so he even gave it a thumbs up. I thought it was delicious. So, um, you know, I just wanted to give you guys a little ex expectation of what to expect. Um, I know we've had people who have stated they went prior and you know some people have loved it and some people had not such a great experience and I'm thinking that was probably before she did the revamp so I'm definitely wanting to encourage everyone to give it another shot 
because I know she did have to do that shutdown and start over. And hey, in the black community, um, you know, it's not always easy to get the talent you need because usually your resources are limited and we just don't have what others have to start. But we'll get there. Um, when you go this weekend, there is a sign posted that just says, be patient because this isn't fast food and they're putting their love and care in each dish. So when you order, just be prepared to have a little wait. We'll all be there to hang out and kick it. So it shouldn't be uh, an un for an exciting way, it should be pretty exciting because you'll have others to meet um, and to get to know. So there that is. Here's a look at the menu. Uh, there was a lot to choose from. And I will also have a happy hour menu that I actually posted in the event. So you can take a look at that because there are some drink specials, if that's your thing. <laughs> Um, and other items you can, and appetizers and things of that nature that you can take a look at and order. So there's that happy hour menu. So we'll have some good eats, like it says there. That's priced really reasonable for us. So I'm very grateful for that. Kai also said that he might be on the ones and twos spinning a little music for us. So I'm excited. Don't judge him because he did state that's not his primary profession. <laughs> so we'll be lenient if we hear, you know, a scratch or two that just isn't right on key, but that's okay. So there they are again with their smiling faces. That's Kai and that's Abby. There are other members of the team that were in the kitchen. I wasn't able to uh, get them out, but I'm sure we'll see them and we'll taste their delicious food this Saturday. If you have any questions about uh, anything about the Saturday, please feel free to uh, post it on our group. We have a lot of people who are active and participating to make sure we all know what's going on. You can also direct message me and I'd be happy to answer any questions. Again, it's just going to be pretty casual. No real formal um, schedule or agenda. We'll just meet, kick it. That's what I'm looking forward to. And I hope you guys come out and I can't wait to meet each of you. But please remember to go ahead and like and subscribe to this YouTube channel because what we plan to do is add more videos of things going on in the community and more meetups and things of that sort. So I'm excited. I look forward to meeting you and I will see you soon.